we now begin the third part which will be covering the following lesions now that uh, you know, we are not talking of ILDs as such, uh, we are talking pattern approach, but I would just like to address this issue of when to use the term interstitial lung diseases and when to use the term diffuse lung diseases. You are welcome to use either of the two terms, they are both acceptable. Just to say interstitial lung disease is a term which is opposite of the alveolar lung disease that affected the alveolus, filled up the alveolus. This involves the interstitial uh, uh, which surrounds those alveoli. But all interstitial lung diseases are not diffuse. Yeah? So interstitial lung diseases can be like cryptogenic organizing pneumonia, only one lobe. All interstitial diseases are not diffuse. Now we come to the term diffuse lung diseases. We have already seen diffuse lung diseases which are not interstitial. We saw bronchopneumonia which had the nodules bilaterally, we know pulmonary edema has. So there is no one term to you know describe ILDs but basically you can use so there are a lot of diffuse DLDs which are not ILDs and a lot of ILDs which are not TLDs. But the term is often used uh, interchangeably broadly when to suspect interstitial lung diseases on a chest radiograph itself. So if you get any of these two, three patterns, what is a reticular pattern? Now reticular, unlike the clear cut bands that you saw of atelectasis here, they were like fibrotic bands going across. And even in the patient with pleural thickening, we saw fibrotic lesions which went across. These are more net like. These are more like a spider web, you know, reticular pattern. You have some nodules thrown in. In this patient, you do not have an obvious volume loss as yet, but eventually you will. But you do have a loss of definition of the cardiac borders and the diaphragmatic borders. You cannot make out the interface, although there is no consolidation sitting next to it. So you know you are likely to be dealing with an interstitial lung disease and which in this case is diffuse also. And then depending on the dominant pattern, uh, you have the differentials. Uh, we can't see all of these now, we'll just see some examples. After you have labeled it the pattern, so we labeled it as reticular, nodular, combined, or if you clearly see honeycombing, ground glass opacity, we already discussed with consolidation, what is ground. All these indicate, and I told you there, the ground glass opacity will come again in the interstitial also, and will come in the airspace also. If we have lower zone dominant disease, first and foremost, is there a disease at all? You compare, see the CP angle is...